you choose. But not really up for the occasion. Because sometimes when you go for a walk in a beautiful place, you end up needing better shoes than you thought you might. Because today, I ended up in the Ox Mountains and climbing up the hills. And now I might be stuck. I mean, seriously, like what are you supposed to do when you're in a place like this? Just not climb the mountains? The Ox Mountains are a range of very beautiful hills on the border of Mayo and Sligo here. And today I'm at the Windy Gap. And beside the Windy Gap, we've got this beautiful lake called Loch Talt. Sure, while I'm this far, I might as well tell you a story. And it's about the, where the River Moy came from originally. So the story is that up here somewhere in the Ox Mountains, could have been on this very spot, there was a bull supping out of a well, supping out of a little stream in the Ox Mountains one time. And a boy came along trying to move the bull and made the silly mistake of grabbing onto his tail for some reason. Now, when he grabbed onto his tail, the bull ran off out of the mountains. And when he did, the boy ploughed a path behind him, forming this little stream, which eventually formed the River Moy, and it dragged him all the way out to Kalala Bay, and they both ended up in the sea. So that's where the River Moy came from. Loch Talt in general, and the Cron Oak here in particular, are also believed to be sites frequented here by the Shi. They're the fairies. And it's not hard to understand why, when you look around at the lush surroundings and the secluded nature of the lake here, why it would be an ideal setting for the fairies and for the East Shi. Locals in the past have often left small offerings by the water to appease them and to ensure good luck. And who knows, maybe they still do today. The Kalyach is a goddess, or a hag, as she's often depicted who is associated with this mount these mountains. And the reason she's associated with them is because she's said to have built them with her own hands. Now, when she did it, she was carrying a lot of rocks and she was carrying them in her apron. And while she did, she happened to drop an awful lot of them around the place. And uh, that's why you end up with a whole lot of rocks around the place now. But she's an interesting character because she is associated with the weather and she can actually change the weather. Now. That's why, one of the reasons why out here, the weather can turn on you very suddenly and it's a little bit unpredictable. Now you could say that about a lot of places in Ireland, but uh, yeah, I kind of feel like it's gonna rain here right now, so I better get out and get a little bit of shelter. These little friends of mine here don't seem too upset by it all. There's a story about a sunken village beneath the waters of Loch Talt here. According to the legend, an ancient village once stood where the lake is now. The village was prosperous but fell into disfavour with the gods and that led to its submersion. On quiet nights here, if you could ever call any night here quiet with the wind, locals claim that they can hear the church bells ringing from beneath the water. There's also supposed to be hidden treasure buried somewhere around here in the Ox Mountains. It's said that it's guarded by some sort of spirit or maybe even a dragon. Lots of people have come looking for it, but nobody has found it yet. And it's one of those elusive details that just add to the mystery of this place. Part of me wonders if the hidden treasure is just the beauty of the place. There's another story about the rocks here too, and we're back to Fionn McCool again. So you might remember he was the leader of the Fianna, and he was the famous guy who built the giant causeway, the guy who was uh, fighting the giant Ben and Donner. Well, Fionn was a giant of himself, and he met another giant another time, and it was right up here in the Ox Mountains, where he decided to uh, battle a giant in a competition to see who could throw uh, boulder, the biggest boulder, the forest. So, the guy he actually challenged or fought or 
whatever you want to call it, competed against was a fellow by the name of Kixathon. Now, when I heard this first, I kind of didn't believe this because I thought to myself, well, Kixathon, if you know anything about Irish, means literally kick in the arse. And I thought, surely somebody was just like, oh, come on, what's the name of the giant? Come on, tell me the name, tell me the name. And somebody just got fed up and just decided to make it, make up a name off the top of the top of their head. It means kick in the arse. Kick in the arse. Anyway, so they've been throwing uh, stones off the top of this hill for the longest time. And uh, so between the Calioch dropping stones and Sion McCool firing stones with kicks of thorn beside him, there's no shortage of stories up here. A little throwback to my Leave and Search geography people, by the way. Uh, this is a little bit of a thing. I always think of that when I'm out here because this is a perfect example of glacial erosion out here. This here beside me, this lake is a quarry, which is, I think if I'm right, a quarry was a place that the glacier had carved into the mountain and all these rocks, despite what the different stories about Fionn McCool and the Kalyach might tell you, were actually left behind by a glacier as it was dropping them off along the way. Well, it turns out I had a lot to talk about out here. I only came out for a walk. So, thanks for joining me on my walk through the Vox Mountains. Slog.